OMG BDG! Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today's video is going to be juicy. Katie from WBO, the mastermind behind Beybase, reached out to us to collaborate. So we are back with a list of Beyblade combos that will help you dominate your battles. This is the top five combos ever in Beyblade Burst. Yeah, people are always asking, what's the best Beyblade Burst combo? It's so interesting to see Beyblade Burst grow over time since 2015, with parts getting better and better. So true. With Beyblade X right around the corner and the conclusion of Beyblade Burst in Japan, there aren't going to be any new parts released for the Burst system. That makes this list closer to being definitive than previous ones. Now, that doesn't mean that a stronger Beyblade Burst combo won't be discovered ever. The Beyblade community will continue to test out different parts and combinations in their battles, but you can be confident that the combos in this list are among the best. There were a ton of research gathered from bladers around the world that Beybase used to create this list, so definitely check out the full article for details because a lot of work went into this. One stipulation to take note of is that the scope of this list focuses on battles on the standard Type A stadium. The list of best combos would be different if you were battling in alternative stadiums like the DB stadium. I repeat, I repeat this is for the standard Type A stadium, stadium only! only. For you bladers that struggle to keep up competitively due to the constant stream of new releases from Beyblade Burst, you won't have that problem anymore and it's a great time to dive into competitive Beyblade. So whether or not you just started Bay battling or want to grab an inspiration or two for your own combos, this is the video for you. So let's start the countdown. But do remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications so you don't miss the next video. You can find us on Instagram at Geek Dosage and on TikTok at Beyblade Geeks Official. Kicking off this list at the number 5 spot is Astral Spriggan 2 over Mobius 0. This combo is an opposite spin specialist and you can thank the Mobius driver for its great performance. The Mobius driver has been around for quite some time now, but it's among the best in terms of endurance in opposite spin matchups. Its flat, free spinning base assists this combo in rarely tipping over. Combine that with the dual spinning Astral Blade and the Spriggan 2 DB core and you have yourself a combo that will practically always be able to spin in the opposite direction of your opponent. This will allow you to outlast them or stretch it out to a draw. You will have to look out for a few things when using this bay. This combo relies heavily on the Mobius driver for its performance, but it can also be this combo's biggest downfall. Mobius can be hard to control, especially when launched with more strength. You'll be left in a dangerous position if you are battling in a format that does not allow you to change spin and when going up against a high stamina, same spin opponent. Keep in mind that this combination will not have a dash, spring, or any burst lock gimmicks. Be wary of skilled attack type users for obvious reasons. Now onto the number 4 spot. We have the combo Cyphoid Excalibur Spread Dash Extreme Dash 1. Just look at this thing man. The Cyphoid Excalibur just screams powerful. Customizing it with the attack oriented parts is what makes this right spinning base so aggressive and incredibly powerful. The original shared weight distribution gimmick of the original Cyphoid Excalibur is maintained by using the one armor along with the Excalibur DB core, which is one of the heaviest DB cores in the game. The spread dash disc provides a noticeably speed increase for the bay especially when used with the extreme dash driver. Prepare to smash through your opponents and don't be surprised that it could even burst bays with burst resistance gimmicks. Keep in mind though, with great power comes great responsibility. Uncle Ben? The attack combo can be a risky choice for those who can't control its insane speed. Also, if you want to be extra technical, be mindful as you battle with the Cyphoid Blade. It'll wear as you play with it and the sword could actually get dull so to speak, which could make it hit less effectively during battles. Overall, this combo is still very good and has the potential to secure KOs Burst or outspin its opponents. Bay number 3 is World Diabolos over Metal Drift 1S. Yep, you heard it correctly. Parts from Beyblade Burst Sparking have made it onto this list. This combination is another opposite spin specialist with even more consistency. You'll find that this bay is unrivaled in opposite spin matchups and its dual spin ability will allow you to choose the right direction every time. The combination of the World Ring and the Metal Drift Driver is here to achieve one thing. Spin forever. Further encouraged by the Overdisc heavy weight, ideal weight distribution, high life after death, and low to the ground design, you will rarely bump into an opponent that can outlast this combo when in opposite spin matchups. 
This bay is relatively on the lighter end for competitive combos when compared to more modern DB slash BU combinations. This makes it susceptible to knockouts when up against top tier attack types. In the event you can't change spin directions before a battle, the lower weight will also hold you back when up against same spin stamina types, especially if the opponent is rocking with heavier DB slash BU parts. Next, on to the number 2 spot. The combo is Dynamite with F-Gear, Lucifer, Illegal, Bearing, Drift, 3. This is probably one of the easier combos to use even for beginners. There's no special trick launches that are necessary. You launch and you're good. Some people may even consider this as an invincible combo because it has great performance against same spin and opposite spin combos. The Dynamite Blade paired with F-Gear is well proportioned, weighted well, and has low recoil. The Illegal Disc also boosts its endurance when paired with the Bearing Drift Driver. If the combo is tipped over, the smoother underside of the Beyblade helps reduce friction. The Bearing Drift Driver was probably one of the most exciting part release recently, and it delivers. It's got great properties of the Bearing Driver and the Drift Driver, making it great for battles against same and opposite spin opponents. One weakness to remember though is it's weak against rubber-based attack types. Battling this combo with strong and fast attack types, especially, are going to be its downfall. Overall, it's still a very consistent choice for bladers who want a safe choice. Here we go, the best Beyblade Burst combo on the planet. It's Guilty Longinus, Illegal, Quick Dash, Zero. Guilty Longinus's raw attack power has been worshipped by bladers around the globe since its release and quickly eclipsed its predecessor, Rage Longinus. The Illegal Disc fortifies this combo's attack power with its heavy weight, increased speed over other commonly used discs in the competitive scene, and high life after death. Quick Dash will give you the speed you expect, but with more stamina than what you'd get out of drivers like Extreme Dash. Top it off with excellent weight distribution from the Zero Armor and this will help you in those attack type versus attack type matchups that go down to the wire. The best thing about this combination is that it's relatively easy to use. Choosing a top tier attack type combo has always been risky and required a certain level of skill to take full advantage of their strengths. This bay is so good that almost anyone can use it effectively and those miraculous last second knockouts against your opponents will occur far more often than you'd expect. This bay is nearly unbeatable in skilled hands. However, you will need to land those attacks. Attacking the walls of the stadium will not win you your battle with how little stamina this bay has in comparison to other top tier combos. So now that you guys know what combos and parts you could build using this top tier list, let's put it to the test. It's battle time. We're going to put these bays up against some random DB slash BU bays, but they're also going to go up against each other. Three, two, two one, go shoot! Burger bay. Alright, I soft launched my bay. So crazy. <laughs> Yo, you're wiping up. Oh my god, I'm giving you spin. Oh my god. It's equalizing. Oh my god, yo, what the heck? I guess that's the downfall with opposite spin is that if you have a bay that has high life after death, like the burger bay here, you'll take some of my spin back. Yeah, that's not too bad, you at least tied. I'm gonna try launching this a little bit harder this time, make this Mobius driver really move. Three, two, one, go shoot! Okay, I launched way harder. I'm using Gathering Dragon, Stop combo. Oh, oh my god! Crazy recoil. Dude, I'm scared. I'm not that tight. Very nice. Survived the attacks. Now I'm swapping over to combo number one, so Guilty Longness. I'm pretty excited to use this combo. It should be uh, pretty powerful. Okay, I changed spin because I'm supposed to be an opposite spin specialist and you're left spin now. That's not fair. Three, Three two, two, one, go! Okay, Guilty oh. hitting pretty hard, which is good. Not wasting any seconds. Oh, I made it to the end. The end is when you're gonna lose or what? Oh. Nice, just barely won. Did not do enough work. Let's see the two craziest attack types go up against each other. Three, Three two, two, one, go, go shoot! shoot. Oh. oh, I like completely stopped. My stamina! Oh, of course. 
quick dash with that better stamina. Yeah, honestly, these two could go so hard against each other if we kept battling. Here's Dynamite Lucifer. Three, Three two, two, one, go shoot! shoot. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on, Bearing Drift. Keep me alive. Gonna be another close one, but I think I got this. Wow, still so much spin left. Wow, and it just stopped. Such a sick combo. Three, Three two, two, one, go shoot. shoot! Let's go, Ultimate Valkyrie! Wow. Very consistent. It's famous knockout potential. Especially if you land with a good launch. Bringing in that sparking combo. Three, Three two, two, one, go shoot! shoot. World Duolos. Crazy to see the world card still on my tier. Perfect. I probably won't get knocked out now. I'm safe. Another opposite spin specialist here. Let's go. Oh. Nice. Three, two, two one, go shoot! Phoenix? Let's go, Phoenix. Phoenix's stamina is pretty darn high, so... Let's see. Honestly, it's so much bigger, but it might actually not do that great. Bit of a slower battle for sure. But I gotta prove a point though, man. This is supposed to have super high stamina for this World Diabolos. So much bigger than you, but bigger doesn't mean better, right? A lot of these high tier combos actually have really good stamina, so sometimes all you have to do is wait. Alright, here we go. That metal drift. So good. Three, Three two, one, go oh, shoot! Back to the side point combo. That is one of the weaknesses of this World Diabolos, man. Those attack types hit so hard sometimes. Three, Three two, two, one, go shoot! shoot. Using Dynamite Lucifer combo again. Alright, so mine is good for opposite spin, and yours is good against both spins, basically. What happens when they go up against each other? My focus here is on stamina, so I think the Dynamite Lucifer combo could be it. Definitely one of those matchups that will take a lot longer than most battles. Come on, does feel neck to neck though. Two weeks later. They both slowing down now. So it's number three versus number two. Logically, you would think that number two would win because it's higher up, but. Both these combos are so strong. Yo. Oh. Uh, was that a tie? I, no, I think I think the Abolos actually spun like a quarter second more. Three, Three two, two, one, go, go shoot! Ready, Scout, come on. Push him out. Sign in the Lucifer again, let's go. Wow, the spin of my base gone. Dynamite Lucifer is pretty good. No effort needed. So that is it for the top five Beyblade Burst combos ever. What did you guys think of this video? Yeah, it was really fun creating these combos after collecting pretty much every single burst part. Your results will obviously vary depending on what opponents you're going up against. There are of course counters to these combos beyond what we talked about in this video. In a tournament setting, you will not be going up against stock combos very often. But this should have given you a good idea as to how these bays will perform against stock combos that maybe some of your friends are using against you. Try out some of these top tier combos and let us know how it went for you. If you want to find out more about these combos, check out the full article on Baybase. That's it. Make sure you guys subscribe, like the video, and as always, Geeks out!